Hey, this is 365 Days of Movie, my top 365 movies, so uh, check out the next installment. Number 174, Less Than Zero, rating 8.27, released in 1987, directed by Merrick Kanievska, starring Andrew McCarthy, Jamie Gertz, Robert Downey Jr., and James Spader. Clay comes home to Los Angeles after his first semester of college and encounters some disturbing developments. His former lover, burgeoning model Blair, has begun abusing cocaine. But her addiction pales in comparison to the drug dependency of her new boyfriend, Julian, who's also Clay's childhood buddy. Clay tries to help get them sober, but the process is complicated by Rip, a callous dealer Julian is indebted to. I wasn't aware that this movie existed, and it uh, it stars, you know, Robert Downey Jr. and James Spader, but also one of Jamie Gertz's few movies, and uh, it's oh, such a well-thought-out movie, and and beautifully filmed the the way music and color interact and the way the characters interact and it's a it's uh the 80s movies often was was focused on teenagers but this uh 80s movie is focused on college and it's a lot darker because it's based on a book by Brad Easton Ellis and at the time he didn't like his adaptation and he has since changed his views and I believe having not read the book it's a very it's a very good adaptation because it's a very good movie. I don't know how accurate the adaptation is, but I think that uh, the the darkness in it is very much a Brett Easton Ellis kind of darkness, and the dialogue is very much Brett Easton Ellis. And it's interesting because I often refer to this as the the prequel to uh, the MCU movie. Avengers Age of Ultron because you have Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man and James Spader as uh, as 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 his opposite and in this movie it's similar in that they're opposed and one is dependent on the other and one is is uh, basically attacking the other um, obviously that's facetious it's not really. But I, I do like to say in Age of Ultron that we're just watching the sequel to Less Than Zero and my how these two have grown up. So if you haven't watched this movie, if you haven't even heard of this movie, you have to watch this movie. It's really good. If you got time, go get it and watch it. Hey everybody. This has been 365 Days of Movies. We're going to keep plowing ahead. So let me know what you think of this movie. And if you want to discuss it further, comment below. If I get a lot of interest, I may very well make a full review of the movie, maybe even a video essay. So let me know what you think, and let's get to the next one.